in, in May 2010, a lot of people will have seen a lot of black grass pop up above the crop, which uh, some of which may, may have been a surprise, some of which people may have been expecting. Uh, so why did that happen? Well, we know the autumn was difficult. Right back from the summer, we started with some relatively high levels of dormancy. So we know that, that pushed the emergence of black grass later uh, of the freshly shed seed and also uh, Although there was some emergence from the seedbed from previous years, that pushed a lot of it later. Uh, we then know that the uh, pre-emergence herbicides, which many people got on uh, pretty smartly, and that is critical, it was quite dry uh, at that time, which didn't help their performance. And then finally, uh, many people will remember the long winter. Well, almost November through to most of April was pretty cold, and that is much less than ideal conditions for uh, sulfonylurea herbicides uh, to be at their optimum activity. So it has been a very challenging year uh, all round. Uh, so one of the questions that then asks is, what about the implications of resistance on top of the challenges the year threw at us? Uh, well, we generally are seeing, uh, although we haven't obviously tested this year yet, we see an increase year on year of the level of resistance uh, and everybody needs to be thinking what are the resistance risks of my particular situation. Uh, if you have enhanced metabolism resistance then the challenging year we've had is going to make it more difficult for uh, everything uh, to work uh, herbicidally and what that really does is bring us full circle to say what can I do before I drill my next crop which reduces the challenge on herbicides. So generally grass weeds want to emerge uh, if they can as soon as there's moisture. There is an overriding issue of dormancy but that really only mainly affects black grass uh, and the information will come available through August as to what that is. The others break dormancy quite quickly and it's not that important. The vast majority of all the key grass weeds is autumn germination. So the key window is between the harvest of one crop and the drilling of another maximise the amount of weeds that germinate in there and get rid of them non-selectively before you even have any herbicide getting near that field other than the non-selective. So no longer can we rely on herbicides alone as the main means of, of controlling weeds. What we have to do is have an integrated uh, approach and that is why this HDCA guide is so absolutely important. No longer are herbicide, is herbicide resistance a separate leaflet, here it fully incorporates the whole of cultural control, the choice of crop, the role of uh, different cultivation strategies and drilling dates, all of which is aimed at reducing weed numbers and integrating herbicide management, herbicide resistance management and general suppression of weed numbers throughout a rotation. So we know that, that from all the work we've done when we look at it, that it is nearly always the autumn application of herbicides that give us the highest level of, of ultimate control. And that is for, for an important timing for a lot of reasons. Firstly, we know that the weeds are much smaller and if there's any indication of enhanced metabolism, then early applications on smaller weeds are much more effective. Secondly, we know that it's all the earlier emergers that are the ones that cause the most effect on yield. Uh, if you have an emerger in the spring, and there are usually very few of those, then those ones are much more competed against by the rest of the crop, which is more advanced by then. They are smaller, less likely to produce more seed and much less at risk of causing uh, significant yield loss. So by going earlier in the autumn, uh, then we stand a much greater chance of getting higher levels of control overall and within the context of a rotation reducing the amount of seed return as well. So although for a lot of people black grass is the number one weed then there are also a lot, a lot of other people where wild oats or bromes or uh, Italian ryegrass are even more important than that or, or, or the only weed uh, so what is really important is that people fully understand what sort of weed spectrum they've got in their fields. Uh, before harvest is an ideal time to have gone out, make sure you know what weeds are where, look and see uh, what you might have done uh, or noted in previous years as well, uh, and that then can determine what sort of things do I need to do where, what are my priority weeds. Although grass weeds often will drive that part of the decision. Very often it's also uh, the volunteers of previous crops that will help choose what the ultimate herbicide strategy is as well. There are three P's, the PPP of weed control. Population, 
which has to be reduced and kept as low as, po as possible, pre-emergent herbicides which need to be timed to maximise their efficacy and get the conditions right as well, and post-emergent herbicides which also need to go on at the optimum timing as well.